Hello and welcome to Climbing Daily. On today's show, we've got part two of our Magnus Mitbo interview, and he's talking about his move into vlogging. So I've recently started vlogging, um, upload vlogs on YouTube, and that is something that takes a, long, a lot of time. I think um, YouTube and vlogging and stuff is uh, maybe the progression of a retired athlete. I, d I definitely don't think it's for everyone, you know. Um, it, takes a lot of, it takes a lot of time and uh, it's also, I, I think you, you need to, uh, you need to be pretty like, you need to be able to handle negative comments, you know. Is that a long shorts or short travel? I feel like yeah, either I'm filming for my vlog or I'm editing or... Uh, but I decided to do that because I stopped competing I internationally okay. and I feel like that was a good way to promote yourself and uh, it was also a good way for me to show a more like real side of things. Um, obviously like my, my Instagram and Facebook is kind of like show-offy and that's uh, intentional, you know, it's... Um, for me, that's what Instagram and Facebook is for, and then I try to use YouTube more as a platform to show my my real side. So, like first time I tried it, I couldn't even do it, and then I brushed it a little bit, and I could do it three times in a row, but. I felt like I was going to black out. It's crazy hard right now. I did not, I did not expect to feel like this on the second day. I have this like little Canon camera, um, but it's pretty good and it's... Uh, I mean, I could get a bigger camera with like a different lens and uh, an external mic and all that stuff, but I think uh, the easy setup for me right now is uh, the best way. I just need something simple and I, th I feel like I, I have so many gadgets carrying around all the time and I don't really want more gadgets. Uh, I recently got another GoPro just to cover different angles and be able to have like this like uh, helmet camera but um, I think it's gonna take a while before I upgrade my camera to be honest. Hashtag vlog goals. <laughs> it's a little bit scary to put out such a like personal side of my life. As promised, my sister. Well, when I started uh, social media, I first actually started with climbing shots, but then just randomly I put in a cl training clip and it just like blew up. And that's when I realized that, I mean, if I want to increase my following, this is the way forward for me. It's a love-hate uh, thing with uh, training, uh, training videos. Um, because, um, I mean, in the, in the beginning it was fun, but and it's still, it is fun, but at the same time, uh, it's not all I want to be known for, you know? I just realized pretty quickly that that was a good way for me to get atten attention. And uh, like social media becoming more and more important, I, you kind of need attention, you know? So those clips, even though they don't have anything to do with climbing, they, I gain a lot of uh, subscribers and followers and all that stuff that matters for sponsors. So. I've actually seen comments on YouTube that I shouldn't do that and risk getting injured for stupid tricks like that when, uh, because if I get injured, I can't please my sponsors. But what they don't realize is that uh, a lot of those uh, videos I upload, I upload a little bit for my sponsors because it's gonna help me. Um, sponsors care about views and likes and subscribers and all that, so. 
So I mean, for me, it's it's a little bit like it, it has become like a business kind of, and uh, yeah, I try to I try to upload uh, a few clips uh, once in a while just to uh, yeah, increase the following. It's that simple. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. It's not because I love it. It's not because I love myself or anything. It's just I've figured out a way for me to yeah to sell myself. I don't know. Time for the you spend a lot of time on it, and uh, when people don't like a video, it it hurts a little bit, <laughs> you know. And, but you have to be able to just like laugh of yourself and say, okay, I messed up, and I'm gonna move on. I'm gonna try to improve. I'm not gonna do that mistake again. Um, so yeah, learning from your errors, I think, is important. Just as in competitions, uh, like in competition climbing, you know, you also try to learn from your mistakes. Magnus' vlogs are getting better all the time and it's cool to follow along with his adventures. If you want to watch him, check out the link in the copy below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.